this is the NIM module. It is a simple computer game in which there is a pile of sticks on the table. In this case, we have 16 man sticks and you are allowed to pick either 3 or 2 or 1 when it is your turn. Then it is the computer's turn and it does the same. Then it is your turn again. Whoever picks the last match stick has lost. So, for example, if we were to pick two sticks, say, it says you took two, I took one, there are 13 left. So, now if you take three, it took one. If you take two, it took two as well. So, there are now five left. If I just take one, it took three. So, there is just one stick left. I have to take that and as it informs me that I have lost. So, in this way, I can go on and on and on playing simple games again and again. So, right now, for example, there are 11. If I want to win, I pick 2. So, it is taken 1. So, now we take 3. It took 3, so there is just 2 left. We take 1. The computer has the, to take the last one and we won. Another module that children might find interesting is a very simple module. It is the arithmetic module. It gives you uh, multiple choices for a simple arithmetic sum and you have to pick the correct one. So, if I pick 5 as in this case, it says correct and it gives me a new one. If I make a mistake, it tells me that I am wrong and keeps the same sum available for me to try again. Another interesting module is the Wikipedia module which makes it possible for a person to access Wikipedia without information overload, without too much information on the screen. So, if the last word we have typed is pharma and we go to the Wikipedia module, it automatically fetches the page and shows it to you one para at a time in small chunks of information. Underlined words of course are words that you can click to go to the page for those. So, it is shown in nice large font one para at a time without unnecessarily confusing information on the screen. When it comes to writing, we have a whole bunch of very interesting modules. With the A, B, C, D module, you can just do some simple typing. So, I have so far I have typed where is and it is already making suggestions for what the last word might be which contains possibly INS in it. So, if I go to the words module, it shows me a lot of different words that have INS in it. If I click the backspace, then it only shows me those words where the INS are next to each other and I can toggle between those two modes. Uh, then if I go to the next word, it tries to predict what the next word might be from the database and in our database, there are three sentences where following the word is there was some other word. One of them is my own name Arun and in this case interestingly since in the database there was also the picture there, the computer also shows you the picture to help you select the next word. So, supposing I want to say where is the, alright. Now, I might want to let us say use a picture to help find a word uh, whose spelling I do not know. For example, let us say the word cabbage. So, I look for, I, I go C, C, A and so now it is showing me C, A, T, a cat. That is not what I want. C, A, B, cabbage. So, if I go back to my typing, I see where is the cabbage. 